for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. Everybody come along and show and tell. I'll show you something new. I'll tell you what to do. Then you'll have a chance to show and tell me too. All right, time for show and tell, the segment where you can come on and talk about a special item in your life. If you have something you want to share, get out your cell phone now and open your camera app and use the code on your screen. Find out how you could join us live for a future episode of Show and Tell. So today we have two great guests, and our first is Sandy Smith. Sandy works right here in the programming department. You work upstairs. Yes, I do, in program ops, yeah. I check the quality of the audio and the, visu the audio and visual and make sure that we have closed captions that are good. You have to watch a lot of, a lot of boring stuff sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> well, let's, let's talk about this, this passion that you have here. You like to paint. Yes. And specifically, you paint dogs, dogs who belong to friends and relatives, and you mm -hmm. put like a little story with each yeah, of them. I love I get, that. Yeah. Let's take a look. This one is Gizmo. Show this camera here. This one is oh. Gizmo, and he's the one that started it all. He's a Pekingese, and he's my older brother's uh, dog and I always thought you know he'd look awful good in a red satin fez that he does and and sit on a pillow yeah but he doesn't have a fez so a little bit for because, so they can oh, say, there, you go. Yeah. there you go and I had you know I had to write this song that our family sings we were a bunch of eccentrics and so I did that and he's just the sweetest little puppy dog oh, that's and lovely. so and my brother loved it I scored big points with him. I'm sure. And <laughs> next we have, uh, who's this guy? These are my friends, Ron and Steve. They had this beautiful, um, I think it's a, a terrier, box, Boston Terrier. Uh -huh. Her name is Lulu Bell, and she is a real diva. And she'd be real sweet and sit with you and talk, and then all of a sudden, rah, just <laughs> bite you. And um, my, my friends were just elated. I, it, it gets me a good feeling when... Uh, they see it and they, oh, you know, sure. they have something to remember because all these dogs are no longer with us. And so they're really happy to have that momentum, you know, let's momento. Take a, let's take a look at this last one. I think this one's your okay. favorite of the three you brought, yes, correct? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine, Colleen, where I used to work, she had this picture. It was, uh, I'm sorry. Go forward there, there we, we go. Of that glare. There you go. Yeah. And she brought... Uh, this is Riley. She's a Rottweiler, and she was um, she was um, there for Sox Park Day, uh -huh. and I saw the picture. It was just a picture of her with her jersey, and I thought, oh my God, this is fabulous. And I thought, I'll make a Riley Day <laughs> at Sox Park, and so I did that. And her, she's got two at the time. Her daughters were really small, and the littler one uh, was like about four. And um, she saw it, and you know, like I said, the dog had passed away by that time, and she just looked and was freaked out and just so happy to see her and just talked to her. Mm. She thought she was real, and it's this little stories like that really make me feel good. Such a nice thing that you do for your, oh, for your family yeah. and your friends. Yeah, definitely. I feel really good. Thank you for sharing that stuff with my us. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right, and a quick reminder, if you have something that you want to share on Show & Tell, use that QR code on your screen, find out how you can join us on a future episode of Show and Tell. And it was it was cool that we ended with that baseball picture because it's gonna transition us perfectly into our next guest. And it's John Miller. Hey John, how are you? How are you? Now you got a great story. First, it starts with this ticket, okay? And I want you to show me the ticket because in 1932, Babe Ruth called his shot at Wrigley Field. Your father was there, correct? He was at that yes. game. He wow. was trying to sneak into the ballpark. It was started the depression. And um, he was trying to climb over a fence a man in a suit came up and said, are you, you have a ticket to the game? And he said, no. He said, come on over here. And he got introduced to Pre Governor Roosevelt. Uh -huh. They gave him a ticket. And the main thing he talked about in the story is he got to sit by the, by the, form, or the governor, but um, he got a box of chicken. And it had three pieces of chicken and food in it. And uh, he ate one, took it home to his parents, and they had it for dinner that night. And it turned so, out to be one of so. the most historic games in, in baseball history. And he also history, signed which, uh, the, the back of it. Whoa. Um, the Governor Roosevelt signed it back. And what's nice, I was I just pulled it out of a box. This picture is fascinating. I yeah. Googled this picture, and this picture came up. And so I was counting the rows on the ticket, the seat, and I saw this little boy there. So <laughs> I went to my mother, who's 99. She'll be 100 in December, and uh, she we pulled out old pictures and found this picture of my father. And um, where is he? And uh, he's up 
top uh, right about there. seven rows up, standing. The only little kid in the picture. Oh my gosh! Right and uh, with the and white you, you I'm, a, I'm a musician, and a guy on my break came up and he goes, "I'm a home appraiser. Do you know who that is next to your father?" In the beret, that's Frank Lloyd Wright, the it's home builder. Unbelievable! What? And he was so he's sitting next to Frank Lloyd beret. Wright. And, um, wow! And the and, quality uh, of that picture. I'm fantastic. sure that whole picture has a lot of famous people in there because it was big. Sure. A big ticket, I guess. Wow, so that's it's, awesome. it's, 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 it's a lot of history. I wish he would have been able to see that picture. He never saw it. So. Wow. But uh, it's a little. Cool little Between that ticket and that, that picture, it yeah. just tells such a great it's, story of a, what sure a, what a fantastic day. Sure John, thanks so Thank much. Thank you. And that does it for another show and tell. If you have something that you want to share, use that QR code on your screen. Find out how you can join us live with WGN Morning News for a future episode of Show and Tell. Thanks again to, to John and to Sandy.